Hi, we're the EC Twins. We're just down here now in the OC, getting ready for one of our gigs. It's uh, three, two or three days away from Christmas. We've just been on the road a lot and we came back to LA to work in the studio yesterday. We brought our new Christmas present with us. Well, Santa brought it for us, Mark. That's true. Santa brought it for us because we've been very good boys. It's the Steinberg UR22. It's a really solid unit and I can tell you that because I threw it at Mark's head about half an hour ago. We're impulsive in the way that we produce. We're on the road for the next week and I literally packed my case in, in, in five minutes. Uh, I was running late. The, we, we like to take this on the road with us because it's good. Like today we arrive at the hotel and I've just had a call from a promoter who says we need to record some vocals for one of our podcasts. So we can plug our microphone here and the preamp on this is really good so we get no background noise, it's really clean sounding. I have one pair of socks, <laughs> but I still have this in my bag. If you're a producer and you're on the road, take it with you, chuck it in your bag, it doesn't take up much space. Do you understand the word chuck it in here? It means throw it. Do you, Do you say chuck? Do Americans say chuck? Chuck it in your bag. Go, go, go. You know, we, we've just been on tour in Europe. We did the main stage at a festival called Tomorrowland. You have a lot of good artists there. For a festival like that, you spend an hour on stage and three days socializing and networking with other artists. So occasionally somebody will come up to you with an idea. Or you maybe meet another artist at a club and they've got an idea and you want to record it. And taking this with us means we can just shoot back to the hotel or wherever we are plug the microphone in and get the idea down and maybe we can work on it on a fly. We were recording vocals before this into, you know, people's cell phones, our computers. You can't transport a sound booth with you, so it's really hard to get a clean cut from a vocal on the road, but this has just made that a lot easier. And to be honest, they sound great, you know, I mean, to go back into the studio and re-record them is almost not worthwhile. So I guess what we're saying is if you've got a multi-million dollar studio, you've wasted most of that money. Our advice for any upcoming producers is really just get something, for example, Cubase 7, and just have fun with it. Uh, that's that's how we learn, really, just hours of, of trial and error. And what we're mostly using right now is uh, Cubase 7 and this, and then our, our Mac laptops, and that's about all we need, really. No, I mean, if I could go back and tell myself anything, I'd just say, keep doing what you're doing. You are awesome. I'd say, don't let them tell you you're rubbish, Mark. You're really good and things are gonna get better. And have some fun with it, make music that you love. And if you're lucky enough to be us, your hobby becomes your job. You know, we do this for free. We do this for free. That's what my manager said. <laughs>